Wicked Cyclone at Six Flags New England is one of RMC's masterpieces. At a glance, this 2015 hybrid coaster does not look too impressive. It's only 109 feet tall, only reaches 55 miles per hour, and does not have a very large footprint. But Wicked Cyclone's 3,320 foot long layout manages to pack a massive punch. So let's talk about the ride experience. There's some minor theming throughout the queue, but it's nothing all too notable. Once you board your trains, you pull out of the station and take a small right hand turn onto the lift. The drop off this lift gives some pretty wild airtime, especially in the back row. Wicked Cyclone is definitely a back row ride, just like every other RMC that I have ridden. Following that drop is an overbank turn that was a little forceful, and then a slightly off-axis airtime hill. Following that airtime hill is a zero-g stall, but you don't stall out for very long, and to be honest, I forgot it wasn't just a cutback. Then you go into another overbank turn and into a double down. The double down was absolutely incredible, and probably my favorite moment on the entire ride. After the double down is a big camelback, which also gives some pretty wild airtime. And then you go back into the ride structure and take an airtime hill that's mixed with an outer bank turn, which gives some pretty good airtime and is a super out of control feeling moment. Following that is a zero G roll, another airtime hill, and a turn. That turn goes into an airtime hill that has a little outward banking to it. You switch banking directions really quick, which throws you out of your seat. After that, you go into another zero G roll, which gives some pretty good hang time, and then a few smaller air time hills, another outward bank turn, and then into the brakes. Wicked Cyclone has a ton of airtime, and it's really its standout feature. You are constantly going out of your seat throughout the entirety of this ride. By doing little funky things to those airtime hills, like making them slightly banked, RMC was able to make each one feel cool and unique. Unfortunately, Wicked Cyclone's pacing is not the absolute greatest. The ending was taken pretty slow, so you didn't get much airtime during it. It's not bad at night once the ride has warmed up, but in the morning, it was crazy crawling through those hills. It's not the biggest deal on this coaster though, but it is a rather unfortunate ending to a ride that up until that point has had pretty decent pacing. I would say that the biggest issue that this coaster has is the restraints. They're not too bad, they're your typical RMC lap bars, but they can be a little on the uncomfortable side and they are somewhat susceptible to stapling riders. Even with those issues, Wicked Cyclone is still one of the best RMCs that I have ridden, and for a final score, I'm gonna give it a 9.1 out of 10. Speaking of stapling riders, another ride that has the same issue is Superman the Ride at Six Flags New England. I have a whole video on that coaster right there.